Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So I am finally back from Japan. It seemed like I was there forever, but I was only there for like five days. I think like four full days and then like a day of flying. So I'm finally back and my hours were like so off the past two days. So I was like, okay, I need to film this Japan haul, but I was like super jet lagged. So I am finally back and like back to normal hours. It was just like weird. I was like tired and like awake and sleepy. So I felt like I was like in this glam hole and I'm finally out and I am back. Today I'm gonna actually show you guys everything that I got in Japan. I didn't get too much because I didn't have time to shop. I only had time to shop for one day and it wasn't the whole day because I ended up getting my nails done twice. If you guys follow my Snapchat, you guys have probably seen the chaos about my nails, but I wanted to show you guys the little things that I got. If you guys have not seen my Japan vlog, make sure to check that out. It's kind of like a summary of like everything that happened in Japan and everything that I did every single day. So the first two days I was actually at a resort with my grandmother and my aunt and my dad and we kind of just did like a little vacation. So I didn't really get a shop there. I, my dad and I picked out a bunch of goodies for my mom there, which was more like food and like just little like ancient Japanese historical things. But when I got back to the city is when I actually got to go shopping. So the very first item I'm going to show you guys is actually from Chanel. I, I believe it was inside of a department store in Yokohama. So my father and mother are both from Japan. My mom is from Tokyo, the city, and my dad is from Yokohama, which is another city. It's like a neighboring city. It's like by the port. So my dad and I were visiting my grandma and we ended up going shopping on the last day and my dad got me something from Chanel and I didn't know he was gonna do that I was like totally putting down my credit card I was like oh just get these and he was like no I'll get it and I was like oh my gosh really like my dad has gotten me so many huge things in my life like when I graduated high school and just like throughout my whole life like college like whatever I just didn't expect him to get this for me but this is sentimental to me because I went on the trip with him and I think he just really wanted to get me something that he knew that I would like because I'm like so picky with things. So I actually got um, these Chanel earrings and I'm gonna unbox this for you guys. And I wanted to do a separate video for this, but I was like, you know what, why not put it in the Japan haul? Because it's not like I really got too much stuff. But the box is like this, just like a regular Chanel box. If you guys have seen my other Chanel unboxings, they all look like this with the flower and the Chanel ribbon. Take out the ribbon and you open the box. It is so cute. Chanel just has the best packaging. I will just never get over it. I just love it so much. It's so cute. And it's just like this. And then you see the little tag in here or like the little, like, I don't even know what this is. Just like the soft container. Open the flaps. Open the flaps like this again. Ah, so cute. They're like gold dangly earrings. And these are actually probably one of the biggest Chanel earrings I have seen that dangle. So a lot of the dangly earrings are a lot smaller and these are the biggest ones. These are classic. They do come in all the time, but they're always sold out. So people always put them on hold or buy them over the phone because they're always gone. I kind of figured it out because I did go to a lot of Chanel boutiques, Hermes boutiques, Cartier, like everything. I just I like looking at it even though sometimes like obviously like I can't afford everything or anything like that. I just love looking at it and they have a lot, a lot of classics. So my dad was telling me they do import a lot and they do have a lot because a lot of people buy it. So it was really cool to see a lot of classic items there and they also do have several different unique colors. So I went to Fendi um, right before I went to Chanel actually and I was thinking of getting um, the Carl um, Little Carlito uh, keychain or maybe a Love Carl uh, Fendi collab purse and I ended up not getting it but I posted on Twitter I was like should I get it and I was there and they were telling me there are many exclusive items in Japan that are only in Japan by Fendi. So I thought that was really cool and a little like fun fact. So that's actually my big purchase item in Japan. I love it and thank you to my dad. Like I, I don't know if you're gonna watch this video but thank you. He's just He's so sweet and he means the world to me and I have a really close relationship with my family. I just don't like to post them here on YouTube because I feel like I, I don't know it's like a private part of my life and I do feel like I don't really want you guys to talk bad about them. Sometimes in the comments, I do get hurtful comments about myself and I feel like it's fine to make fun of me, like whatever, go ahead, do it. But when it comes to like my family and people I care about, I really just don't like it when people are hating. So that's why I don't 
choose to like post them too much, you know what I mean? Thank you so much to my father. It means the world to me. It was so sweet and going to Japan with him was such an eye-opener. My parents are from Japan. They grew up there and I was born here. So there is a big cultural difference. Like I grew up like speaking Japanese, eating Japanese food and stuff like that. But obviously like everything that I do is very American and I have blonde hair and the way that I do my makeup and the way that I dress is very American. And I guess with the Japanese culture, it's like a huge difference. And even being there and seeing the styles there and stuff like that, I'm just so different, you know? So it was just like a cool learning experience and seeing everything and just being part of like where my father grew up and where my mother grew up was like crazy. I loved it, it was so much fun and I really learned a lot. I wanna embrace the Japanese culture more, but I just feel like I'm just so me, you know? I feel like I definitely do look Japanese, but then I just feel like I have my own little Thing. There are blonde girls out there as well and super tan and super beat like I saw it so cute and They're called ghettos, but I will talk about that in another video because I don't want this video to be too long So let's get started on all the other stuff that I got um, the first item that I'm gonna show you guys is this adidas varsity jacket and this is, I think, I don't really know if it's like exclusive to Japan, but definitely like the big labels and like a big writing, like Adidas, the brand with the three stripes, is something that Japanese people really love. They just love like that, like big, bold, like prints, you know? And the little logo is right here. I just love this Adidas jacket because I just feel like it's like fun. It reminds me of high school. I ran track and I played tennis, but I was never really good at sports. So I never had a varsity jacket. So I have to purchase it. You know what I mean? So this is my very first purchase. I actually got it in Roppongi um, after the YouTube space. I went to YouTube space Tokyo. If you guys didn't see my vlog, I went to YouTube space Tokyo. And right after that, there was an Adidas store. So I got that. The next thing that I got is this Adidas sweatshirt. And you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, is she like, addicted to adidas i kind of am and i was just like okay this is just too cute not to get it's like a denim colored sweatshirt i'm just into it right now okay so i'm sorry i'm just like addicted it was so cold over there like over here um it wasn't celsius over there so it's like 45 degrees fahrenheit which was freezing to me so i had to actually layer that sweatshirt with that other varsity sweater or jacket thing it was still cold and i wore a long sleeve and i wore pants so i had to wear all of that at one time my grandma actually gave me fashion advice and she was like wear this sweater then wear that jacket over because that just looks more like celebrity like and i was like okay whatever and it worked and it looked cute and i wore it like that um for the first day and then the next day it got so hot. So I was wearing that that morning. And then I went to the Shibuya 109 department store and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get girly Japanese things just because every time I go there, I get like shorts and like tops and dresses and rompers and things like that. And I ended up getting an Adidas crop. Like, who am I? I was like, oh, I wish I saw this before, but I got all three, like I just wanted to. And I feel like this is just so, it's everything. And I wore this because it got so hot and I still wanted to stay with that theme. I actually ended up taking a selfie because I was like feeling that outfit, you know? So this is my selfie that I took at this other store in Harajuku. And I ended up going to Kitty Land. And Kitty Land is somewhere that I've been many times. It's like a Hello Kitty Lego, like character amazing store and i decided to get some dirakuma socks so one of them i already wore so it's actually in my washer and i also got these two and i'm really into dirakuma right now it's so cute it's the cutest bear ever and these are the socks that i got i love them so much um my grandma and my dad were like, oh my gosh, they're so kiddish. But you know, I just love characters. I think that's like my Japanese side. I love characters and I love cute things. I decided to get some Rirakuma socks. And then there was a beauty store in Harajuku and I decided to pick up my favorite glue. I got several of these because you guys know I am addicted to this eyelash glue. And guess what they have? So this is Gente, that means limited edition. And they had my favorite glue in Hello Kitty. So it's a full Hello Kitty DUP eyelash fixer plus or EX collab. Like, oh, heaven. Like this is everything right now. So I got this glue and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're doing a collab right now. And it's like my favorite glue ever. I don't even know if I want to use it because it's so pretty and I feel like it's just going to run out and I'm just going to be sad. So I got several of them and this is it. So cute. It's everything right now. 
and here they sell it for like 13 14 dollars and there it's 900 yen which is about nine dollars so ah, so cute so the next things that i got oh my gosh it's like a link to my phone so i actually got a phone case a my melody phone case i got this at an electronic store in japan i don't remember what it was called it was a camera store and i ended up getting this phone case and nobody in japan uses the plus or the six plus or the six s plus no one everybody uses the six everyone likes the smaller regular size there there are rows and rows and rows for the six s so they have the regular size and they didn't really have the plus but I got this one, so I'm super stoked about it. And I even got a matching battery pack at the same electronic store. And the cool thing about this is obviously like it charges. It doesn't really run out a lot. Like all the other ones that I've had like runs out really fast, the, the charge. And it has two USB ports. And I thought this was gonna have one, I didn't know. And this one has one. And I got a Nido Kumo one just to be extra and just cause I love them. I always run out of battery, always. like. It's just never ending, so I was like, okay, might as well get another one. They're super cute, and they do come with a little baggie that it goes in. Super amazing, love it. So I got these two battery pack. I ended up also getting a little Nidakuma as well. I just thought that I can't leave Japan without getting some characters and little things to remind me about Japan. So I ended up getting a Nidakuma, and that's actually everything in my Japan haul. I hope you guys like this video, and make sure to check out my blog if you haven't already. And if you guys want me to talk a little bit more about my Japanese culture and my background and how I grew up, let me know in the comments below. I did talk about it in my Draw My Life. If you guys have not seen my Draw My Life, make sure to check that out. I'm so glad to be back, but I did discover when I went to Japan that I had some subbies from Japan and what's so wild is when I wrote like a little like blurb or like a little caption in Japanese a lot of my Japanese subbies wrote um, to me so for those of you who didn't know I do speak Japanese I'm fluent in Japanese and if you guys want me to do Japanese videos I feel like I'd be like I don't even not good at it but let me know in the comments below as well i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching this video thumbs up the video if you guys like this and make sure to subscribe to my channel i love you guys bye Mwah. so i just got to the airport